This conference will now be recorded. Okay. So let me explain you. Warehouse management module we are going to discuss. So just I want to understand from you like uh, if you want to learn this module. Give me a minute. Microsoft Dynamics 365 F1O is the application name. Microsoft Dynamics 365 F1O is the application name. In this, we have the F1O means finance and operations. Finance and operations. So finance means one module finance. And operations means there are many things. It may be trade and logistics part of SEM. And warehouse management part of SEM. Manufacturing part of SEM and project accounting also one part. These all are operations and retail and e commerce. So these all are operations. Finance is one module. Okay. So if you want to become expert in uh, warehouse management, first you need to learn trade and logistics. You should be familiar with the uh, trade and logistics. Then on top of that, you can learn warehouse management easily. Okay, I hope whoever is joined, uh, you are not new to this application. You are already learned or you are already working in this application. So anyone is without any experience joined in this session. I mean to say you don't know about dynamics. And you this is the first session for you then i need to give more details so anyone joined without having any knowledge i hope you are already learned you have already learned this trade and logistics module okay fine so just let me explain you about uh, demo kind of uh, brief information i'm hoping you're not bad my way of teaching i'm explaining you so whenever i'm teaching microsoft dynamics 65 f and o 10.0 version you are learning 10.0 version you are learning whenever you are learning you need to have the following skills one is domain knowledge or functional knowledge next little bit technical knowledge little bit technical knowledge and then you need to have how to operate is dynamics 365 is how to operate before you, you are going to learn this how to operate you need to learn what where when why which means real time examples real time scenario you need to understand this one then you can understand how to operate so many people will think like if i learn how to operate i can get a job but you need to understand this reasoning what where when why which is also important and some erp concepts you should know okay all these skills it is required i'm going to teach you all these things 
and in addition to this one some more like communication skills communication skills and your education qualification and practice with the system so these are not in my hands it is in your scope these are in my scope okay whenever i am teaching i will first i will teach you transaction then i will teach you masters then i will teach you setups and configurations then parameters then you can create legal entity then you need to map parameters setups and configurations and masters then transaction <clears throat> this means it is a sample project is a kind of sample project you are going to do this is very very important meaning first i will explain you about this uh, process in usmf company the existing company in the existing company i will explain you about this module later i will create a new company i will create a new company like this any company and i will teach you in that company so in that company if you are doing transactions you need to do all from the scratch you need to do that is indirectly it is equal to project okay so in this mod in this warehouse management you are going to learn warehouse management module transportation management landed cost and advanced inventory management that is not required but i will give you which is available in ax2012 and d365 some advanced inventory management functions i will explain you and then rebate management small topic rebate management majorly warehouse management transportation management and landed cost you are going to learn advanced inventory management that is not much useful but i will teach you that one also and then rebate management this are this is small so advanced warehouse management now in this whenever you are learning you need to learn positive scenarios happy paths and negative scenarios happy pass means positive scenarios negative scenarios you are going to learn both you need to learn okay so without delay i will proceed with advanced warehouse management so what is this advanced warehouse management what is this function what is this advanced warehouse management or warehouse management means what is this simple warehouse management means warehouse management means ps na pe work create a work then complete the work or close the work this is a warehouse management warehouse management means create work and complete the work what is this work so i will use majority images so that you can understand easily the material movement from open place to inside inside to open place that is work what is this work means work means pick the material from one location put the material in another location 
this work. So if you want to use this work function, then you can use warehouse function. Within the organization, you need to pick the material. You need to pick the material. Suppose it is coming inside. You need to pick the material and put inside. If you are delivering the material, pick the material from here and put at bay door. place so if it is sales you need to take the material from inside and you need to put the material outside that is work okay suppose uh, as i told you anyone is new to this application if you don't know anything i'll discuss with you some more in details Because if I'm explaining the very basics, it will be con it will be boring for you. That is the reason I'm just looking. Otherwise, let me recap from very starting point. So ERP means I'm just giving you high level picture. You are going to join in a software company. You are going to join in a software company. Then you are working for a project. You are going to work for a project. That project is called a client. What is this client will do? They will purchase the material. They will sell the material. Purchasing the material and selling the material. So to purchase this material, you need to understand procurement and sourcing module. To sell this material, you need to understand sales and marketing. So for this, you need to understand purchase order process and you need to understand sales order process purchase order process sales order process this purchase order process and sales order process using advanced warehouse management then work will come into the picture this work will come into the picture okay so first let me show you this purchase order process and sales order process actually the topic is of course, you are going to learn here, but very basic information you are going to learn in trade and elastics SCM part. Purchase process and sales process. Let me show you the purchase order process and sales order process. One is purchase order process. Another one is sales order process. Purchase order process means purchase order process means purchase order creation, purchase order confirmation, product receipt, and are invoice. Purchase order creation, purchase order confirmation, product receipt, and vendor invoice. This is purchase order process. And sales order process means sales order creation, then sales order confirmation is not mandatory. Here it is optional. Whereas in the purchase order process, it is mandatory. In sample setting. And then packing slip, post packing slip. then invoice to the customer okay this process let me show you in the system and if you have any questions please let me know so let me show you the sales order process first you can click on new so the application will be opened from here like this. If you open this application, you need to have a link with the username and password. With the username and password, you will have one link. And with your username and password, then it will be opened this application. Okay. In this, this is a sample data provided by Microsoft. And here, there are so many companies. 
so if you want to practice initially you can go to usmf company usmf company in the usmf company the data was mapped properly okay so now sales order process i'm showing you the sales order process sales and marketing module sales and marketing module collapse all sales orders all sales orders click new button <coughs> select the customer select the customer select site and warehouse click ok select the item and quantity price once you entered you can click on save next confirm sales order or confirm now these two are available but these are not mandatory it is optional optional if you want you can skip next pick and pack tab post packing slip post packing slip means you are sending material to the customer if you do post packing slip what happens on hand inventory will be decreased on hand inventory will be decreased okay so here you can click click okay means the material was dispatched to the customer it is material was dispatched to the customer here the material is dispatched from this client place the at the client wherever you are working from here it was dispatched to the customer that is packing slip and invoice means customer balance should be updated because i need to receive money from the customer click okay this means you are generating invoice means customer balance will be updated because i need to receive money from the customer so the customer balance will be updated here if you do invoice That is financial postings. Okay, this is simplest process. Simplest process. You will learn this one if you are joining. You will you will learn this one in this finance and in T and L. These topics in trade and logistics you are going to learn. You learn. Maybe you learned already in detail about. There are so many so many methods inside. you will learn these things in depth in tnl topic now advanced warehouse management i am showing you advanced warehouse management i am showing you so i am creating one more sales order i am creating one more sales order click on new select the customer select site and warehouse click okay <clears throat> select item now what i'm doing i'm selecting a 0001 i'm selecting a 0001 and i'm selecting site 2 warehouse 24 item 8001 site 2 warehouse 24 okay now you can save this one once it is saved 
then i'm trying to do post packing slip it will not allow you it will throw some error messages like previously it was posted it will not be posted now it will throw error messages inventory dimension location must be specified the reason behind actually there are so many reasons this item 8001 is linked to advanced warehouse management and warehouse 24 is linked to advanced warehouse management where we can see this one let me take duplicate so if you go to product information management products released products so if you go to release products a triple zero one this item a triple zero one is linked to storage dimension group this storage dimension group is linked to site warehouse location warehouse management use warehouse management process so item a triple zero one is advanced warehouse management setups configured so how to configure all those things we'll discuss later so a triple zero one item is linked to storage dimension group because let me go back item master If you want to create an item master, if you want to create an item master, you need to map storage dimension group, tracking dimension group, product dimension group, item group, item model group, purchase unit, inventory unit, sales unit. So the storage dimension group, whatever it was, whatever it was connected here, the item, whatever it is mapped with storage dimension group. This storage dimension group is use warehouse management process. So that is the reason it is item is advanced warehouse management. And warehouse, warehouse 24, warehouse 24. This warehouse 24 is also advanced warehouse management. So you can go to warehouse management, collapse all, setup, warehouse, warehouses, 24 warehouse, for warehouse, it is use warehouse management process enabled, use warehouse management process enabled. Okay, this checkbox is enabled. So, warehouse also advanced warehouse management. For regular warehouses, 11 warehouse, it is not enabled. But for 24 warehouse, 24 warehouse, it is enabled. So, you cannot do post packing slip simply. So for this, you need to go to warehouse man, man, warehouse tab. You need to click on release to warehouse. So it is throwing error message. The reason behind we need to do reservation and address it is telling like postal address should be mapped. Give me a minute. Let me go to header. Here, let me select another customer because for this customer address is not mapped. That is the reason it is throwing error message. I'm selecting US 041. <clears throat> okay, let me go to lines. Now, once sales order is created, if you are, you need to click on release warehouse. Before this one, reservation is mandatory. Before this one, here. How it is purchase order confirmation is mandatory in the purchase order process. 
here if you want reservation is mandatory and it is there. so let me do reservation inventory reservation you need to do reserve or not once it is reserved lot then you can do you can click on release to warehouse one minute give me a second it is not updated from the lines Okay, in the lines also address should be there that is a prerequisite for warehouse management address should be updated so now it is updated let me verify the reservation reservation is done now if i click on list warehouse then it is processing it is processing a bad job and inside it is created if you are using advanced warehouse management what system will do it will create shipment load save and work all this will be happened inside as i told you warehouse management means work will be created Okay, remaining all these things we'll discuss later. There are so many setups and configurations you need to understand. So, as soon as if you click on release to warehouse, if you click on release to warehouse, automatically these all things will be created in the back end. So, the major your work is your task is work. So, in this if you go to warehouse work details work will be created open status work is in open status okay so this work will be assigned to this delivery boys this delivery teams forklift operators they will assign this work then what they will do they will complete this work majority times they are not very well educated they are not very well educated so for them what we can do there is a mobile device we can give mobile like this one they will have a scanner mobile scanner like this to scan the material to scan this uh, uh, material they will have mobile using that mobile they will scan it okay so for us we don't have physical mobile so i am creating virtual mobile that is called mobile device emulator so action colon whs work execute and if you click enter you are getting into virtual mobile the username is 24 and password is 1 you need to log in means instead of actual mobile we are working on virtual mobile this is called mobile emulator okay so in reality they will take the scanner and they will scan it in reality but we don't have that we can i cannot show in the system right in the like remotely can i cannot show and you can even i cannot purchase this uh, all instruments and i cannot do all those things practically it is costly so as a virtual we are doing mobile now outbound process sales picking now in reality you will scan this work Scan this work ID or license plate ID. 
So they will scan this one. They will scan this one. But we don't have the scanners. We are entering manually. So I need to copy this work ID. And I need to paste here. But in real time scenario, we will not do like this. The uh, forklift operators, the delivery team, the delivery boys, they will scan it. They will scan it, the license plate. But we don't have that scanner and all those things. Virtually, we are working. Click OK. Now, pick the license plate. So, the where is where is this material exist means you need to go to on hand inventory. So display dimensions, location and license plate. Okay. So here location floor 001 license plate I need. Floor 001 license plate. So I can copy this license plate number. Because we don't have scanners, we are copying manually. Click OK. And target license plate. You need to enter target license plate. I am entering manually. 27 July 2023-001. I have entered. Pick the material. Click OK and put the material means what they are doing they are taking the material from inside <coughs> they are taking the material from inside because they need to dispatch they will take the material they will put at bay door here ready to dispatch area understood they will put material at here so that truck will come and they will take they will fill they will load the material and they will dispatch Okay, so now that's what it is here. Pick the material from floor 001. Put the material at bay door. Pick the material at floor 001. Put the material at bay door. That's what the operators will do. Click OK. Once they have completed, you can see here refresh. Work is closed. Work is closed. So warehouse management means work. Warehouse management means work creation. And work will be closed by this delivery app, like a delivery team or forklift operators. Delivery boys or delivery team. They will finish it. Once it is finished, the next step is work is completed. Next, we can go to shipment details here packing slip is there but it is disabled you need to do confirm shipment means the material is dispatched from your premises the loading is happened from bay door to truck the material is loaded from inside warehouse to truck inside that is confirm shipment confirm shipment means confirm shipment means the material is actually the forklift operators are kept here in this place the truck came and it was loaded here that is confirm shipment once it is confirmed you can do Post packing slip, generate packing slip. Click OK. Okay. Once packing slip is updated, then if you verify here, it is actually it is showing the button, but it should be disabled. If I refresh, this button will be disabled. Because it is dispatched. Packing slip journal is posted. Now we can do invoice. <coughs> so 
Okay, so let me open the Excel file. The simplest process is sales order creation, sales order confirm, confirm sales order, post packing slip, and invoice to customer. This is normal procedure, regular procedure, which you already familiar, it should be familiar. Now, if it is advanced warehouse management, it is advanced warehouse management, then sales order is same. Confirm sales order, yes, you can use it, but you cannot do post packing slip directly. Cannot do post packing slip directly. Advanced warehouse management. So, what you have to do? You need to do reservation. So, address should be exist. In customer account is first mandatory. Next one is Reserve the material. Reservation is mandatory. Reservation is mandatory. Next, you need to click on release to warehouse. If you click on release to warehouse, work will be created. Now, Work should be completed means closed. Then you can do confirm shipment. So confirm shipment, then packing slip, we can do from, from shipment, we can do packing slip. Then, Wait, sorry for yes, interrupting. Yes. Uh, yeah. uh, so why is uh, like a uh, mandate to do a reservation process in business perspective? So why it is required preservation, right? Yes, yes. Why it's mandated? There are so there are so many sales orders. There are so many sales orders. Now, uh, if you are doing say like work creation means the physical existence should be there. Am I right? Oh, the material okay, should be there. Okay. So you need to lock that material for this work. Okay. That is the reason reservation is mandatory. Reservation is mandatory because work will be that work will be locked to that reservation material, reserved okay. material. Then only you can dispatch. Otherwise, only if it is order quantity, it cannot be. Okay. <coughs> okay. Yes. So now in the sales order process, normal procedure, you are creating a sales order, confirm sales order. If you want Actually, there is advanced inventory management. In this advanced inventory management, you can create the same procedure. Here, you can use uh, like uh, one more function like Generate like a uh, generate picking list. Okay. 
then uh, you can create here also it is there some functions generate picking list and update picking list so in the system sales order generate picking list and picking list registration this is advanced inventory management related function okay i will discuss with you this one later as i told you here advanced inventory management so at that time pallet id is there it is a word function pallet id it is deprecated by microsoft and now you are using license plate. in detail you will, you will understand all these things slowly so today i have shown you advanced warehouse management using advanced warehouse management sales order process we did it let me show you quickly one more time and if you have any doubts we'll discuss i will show you one more time sales order process so sales and marketing module collapse all sales orders all sales orders click on new select the customer this customer should have address these customers have created so customers don't have address so i am selecting us001 so this customer should have address zip code and all those things okay I am selecting warehouse 24. 24 warehouse is advanced warehouse management. 24 warehouse, it is warehouse management enabled. Click OK. Select the item. Item A0001 is advanced warehouse management. Because A0001, this A0001 is linked to storage dimension group. This storage dimension group is warehouse management process enabled. That is the reason I have selected. Now you can select how many point you want dispatch and enter the price. Once it is created, once it is created, you can do confirmation, save, and confirmation is available. It is not mandatory. Confirm sales order, confirm now is not mandatory. You can create. And you can do if you want you can use it but reservation is mandatory confirm sales order is optional optional but address should be exist and reservation is mandatory inventory reservation if you are suppose you have not done reservation if you are clicking on release to warehouse, most new sales lines have been released to warehouse. It is giving a warning message. So must and should you know to do reservation. <coughs> you need to reserve the lot. Once it is reserved, then you can click on release to warehouse. If you click on release to warehouse, there is some process is happening. Actually, in reality, as I told you in the notepad, it will create shipment, it will create load, it will create wave, it will create work. What are all these things? You will understand later. Okay, it will be behind the screen. All these things will be created automatically. There is a process. Okay, wave process method. Okay, some wave templates it is there some uh, some uh, methods will be there it will be executed automatically it is creating uh, automatically work the major is work will be created if you refresh here work is created what is this work pick the material from floor 001 put the material at below 
pick the material from floor 001 and put the material at bed over. That's what it is. It is open status. But in real time scenario, this will be executed by this delivery team, this delivery team using mobile scanners. Using mobile scanners, they will do it. But we don't have mobile and if you want to purchase, it is costly. All these things we cannot show. So virtual mobile we are doing. For this virtual mobile, I'm just closing and I'm taking once again. For virtual mobile, you need to go to the last USMF ampersand MI after equal to action colon WHS work execute. If you type like this, there is a virtual mobile, it is open. You can log in. Okay. So how to do this, all these things means there is a huge subject you need to learn inside mobile device. You need to create mobile device items. Sales picking. This is you need to configure. Sales picking. You need to configure. So mobile devices, you need to configure all these things, whatever it is there. <clears throat> you need to configure. There are so many, so many. Suppose purchase put away. Purchase receive. So there are so many options inside. You need to understand. Work creation process. So purchase put away. There are so many options. Okay, there are many, many things you need to understand. It is a huge setup. Warehouse management is a huge setup. Okay, so whatever it is coming here, you are going to configure this one. You are going to configure these things. So I'm going to, I'm clicking on outbound and sales picking. Here you need to create mobile device menu items and then you need to map here mobile device menu. Fine. So now sales picking. So in reality, we need to scan, but we don't have scanner to scan this license plate. That is the reason as a workaround solution, I'm entering manually the work ID. I'm entering work ID manually. Click OK. Now license plate. So license plate in reality, we need to scan it. We will not enter manually, but here we don't have alternative. We are entering manually. In real time scenario, we will scan it. Click OK. Now, uh, target license plate means here you are taking the material from here inside. Taking the material that is license plate and you are putting in the another license plate that is this one. So that is this one, target license plate. So I am entering manually. Okay, click OK. So if you look at this one, work status will be changed. Refresh the screen. Work is closed. And in process, put is in process means the truck is moving. This forklift, whatever it is there, it is moving inside. Once it is completed, they will click OK. Completed. Work is completed. Now if you refresh, work is done. Work is executed by this delivery teams. Closed. Okay, once work is completed, as I told you, work will be created and work should be come. This is delivery team, the del delivery boys or delivery team or forklift operators, they will complete. Once it is completed, then you can go to shipment. Confirm shipment. Confirm shipment means the loading is happened. The loading 
was completed the loading of the material into the truck So the, the truck came here and loading is completed. Okay, this will be loaded. So from here it was loaded to the truck. That is confirm shipment. Next you can do generate packing slip means you are updating packing slip. You are updating patterns. Then once it is updated, if you go to here, it is still button is enabled, but if you refresh, it will be disabled. Patterns with journal is created. Next invoice is regular. You need to generate invoice and you need to submit this invoice copy to the customer. This is sales order process with advanced warehouse manager. Advanced warehouse management or warehouse management process, you can do it. Okay, so if you want to understand this advanced warehouse management, as I told you, prerequisite, you, you should know about trade and elastics already. First, if you learn trade and elastics, then if you learn warehouse management, later if you want to learn manufacturing, there's a sequence. So if you want to become a SCM expert, first you need to learn trade and elastics. Next you need to learn warehouse management. Next you need to learn manufacturing. If you want to become a finance expert, first you need to learn finance. Next you need to learn trade and elastics. And then you need to learn PMD, project management. These three are finance expert. And these three are SCM expert. And this one and these two are Trade and last uh, retail expert. Okay, majorly these are the three divisions. Anyone can be expert. At a time, you cannot learn all these modules in one shot. One or two modules you need to start, and then you can enhance your knowledge based on your requirement. Any questions, team? Anyone? So are you able to follow me or anyone is facing challenges to understand so that I will give you more examples more elaborately. I will show you slowly once again. So if you are interested or if you are interested to join or not leave it today and tomorrow try to join every day. Try to join tomorrow and day after tomorrow join this one anyhow it is a free. So from Monday onwards, from Monday onwards, uh, you need to pay fee, then only you will be allowed and you will get one Teams link and you will get into that one. Yes, please. Anyone want to speak? Basha, you want to speak anything? Anyone would like to speak? Yeah, Sathya. Good morning, Sathya. Uh, my name is yeah, Kiran. Good morning. Uh, yeah. Uh, is this time fixed because uh, I, yeah. I have some other you know during this time I had to drop my daughter so you know the only thing is the time mm. that is concerning so I'm a working employee I'm a working yeah. employee so uh, I'm trying I'm providing training TNL 627 and 78 finance and 8 to 9 SCM um, warehouse management and weekends I'm conducting manufacturing 6 to 8 30 because I am also a working employee uh, I need to do my 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 company role so once I get into my company I don't know where, at what time I will come out you know this one am I right in IT we are not yes. sure so yeah. uh, if it is afternoon or evening I cannot conduct so the okay. feasibility and, uh, yeah yes please 
and one, uh, one thing i want to tell you one thing i want to tell you uh, you can rejoin second time free i mean to say if you join now okay and okay. you are you're missing some topics okay anyhow i will try to cover in the same but if you are okay. still missing you can join for second time free of cost without any fee second time yeah. okay. and the second thing uh, like this one i will not teach this one because this one is whether you are practicing or not practicing that is your wish but for this one i will ask you to share your screen and do practice in front of me means okay. in, in, in the indirectly it is a kind of lab practicing you need to do it in front of me then only i can go ahead means i will make sure you are going to write or you are going to learn this one about this process because everyone will speak like yes i am doing but no one will do it because in your company roles you know you are working uh, timings it is not possible and you will skip it and at last you will think like i don't learn i have not learned anything so i will make sure you are going to practice initially uh, in usmf company i will give you a trial link if you don't have the environment i will give you a trial link and you can practice in the session so that you will get content yes please kiran yeah proceed now okay uh, uh, is the recording available so in that case no. if i miss you know okay no uh, it is not possible for warehouse management i am not providing any recording sessions okay okay yeah. so only for finance and tndl i am providing video recording sessions for these two only but for okay. for warehouse management for manufacturing for pma i am not providing video recording sessions only for these two i am providing video recording sessions okay so for for now today and tomorrow uh, this recorded sessions may be shared with you through instore for today and tomorrow but uh, from monday onwards no video recording sessions okay and how uh, how long this batch will go so minimum 3 months it will take 3 months uh, i mean to say 12 weeks but sometimes it may be extended i don't have timelines because if doubts are there something sometimes one or two points i don't know okay i need to learn so i'm not telling like see if you are, if you ask me the rating for me finance it is i can make it as 9.5 for tndl 9.5 but here i can rate it as 80 percent 8 percent 8 marks out of 10 80 only i myself okay. am telling you 80 percent because no one in the market can be expert in all modules because these two are i have total 20 plus years of experience finance and tndl whereas warehouse management around five years not more than that so okay. uh, there is a challenges i too have some challenges so maximum yeah. i will try to explain as much as possible but don't expect everything i can teach here understood no that makes sense yeah i want to be a reality in reality no, no. i don't want to give wrong promises okay so okay. from monday onwards from monday onwards uh, your senior people also joined here senior people means who learned from me the previous batch those people also going to join from monday onwards okay uh, if it is usually see this warehouse if i'm earlier i'm teaching this batch uh, like finance 8 to 9 i'm teaching finance earlier but i have modified to warehouse management the reason behind i want to accommodate this warehouse management knowledge to many people because warehouse management who learned warehouse management people in the market is very 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 less i want to improve the market strength but it, if it is a if, it, if i am running finance batch i will get more money i will get more money if it is a warehouse management usually around 4 to 5 members will join 4 to 5 members or 6 members new join new joiners and around 5 to 10 members old people also will join i mean to say the previous batch students also will join okay i am getting very less fee this one if it is a finance batch 
20 to 25 members will join but i am not looking for money only of course money is required but money is not the main criteria because there is a lot of gap in terms of warehouse management and uh, people are not available in the market i want to fill that gap by teaching to many uh, many uh, like employees i can say employee because you are mostly i am guessing you are employee only most of you whoever is joining for warehouse management any more questions team any more questions rahul sayed srikant kashi basha any would if you want to speak because if you are interacting with me then i can understand uh, like what is your uh, uh, like understanding about the product if you have any questions please unmute if no questions we can discuss for today we'll connect once again tomorrow morning same time 8 am st yeah rahul yes. you want to speak anything yes we already spoke so uh, last yeah then we'll connect once again tomorrow same time whether you are interested to continue or not please join tomorrow also it is free tomorrow tomorrow and after tomorrow you can join the session okay see you all bye bye